హాయ్ ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ ప్రమోద్ కుమార్ కుచ్చులకంటి సీనియర్ ఇంటర్వెన్షనల్ కార్డియాలజిస్ట్ యశోద హాస్పిటల్ హైదరాబాద్ టుడే ఐ విల్ బీ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ కరోనరీ ఆర్టిక్ డిజీజ్ ద సిమ్టమ్స్ అండ్ సైన్స్ అండ్ దెన్ ద కాజెస్ ఆర్ ద రిస్క్ ఫ్యాక్టర్స్ ఫర్ కాజేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ అండ్ లాస్ట్లీ ద ట్రీట్మెంట్ ఆప్షన్స్ దట్ ఆర్ అవైలబుల్ ఫర్ ది కరోనరీ ఆర్టిక్ డిసీజ్ యాజ్ యు నో కరోనరీ ఆర్టిక్ డిసీజ్ మీన్స్ ద డిసీజ్ దట్ ఈస్ అఫెక్టింగ్ ది బ్లడ్ సప్లై ఆఫ్ ద హార్ట్ విచ్ ఈస్ డన్ బై coronary arteries and as the age advances there will be deposition of cholesterol inside the coronary arteries that leads to obstruction to the blood flow and that may manifest in the form of some symptoms in the long run or acutely it may cause what is called heart attack or myocardial infarction it is very important to have awareness about the symptoms and signs of this particular disease and also we have to know what causes it and what are the treatment options available for this important problem whenever there is a compromise of the blood supply to the heart muscle due to the obstruction the patient will experience a chest discomfort often people will describe as some heaviness inside the chest as if some heavy boulder is put on the chest or some elephant is sitting on the chest it is not described usually as a pain it is described as some kind of discomfort or uneasiness or heaviness these are the terms people will describe and it will not be confined to a particular place it will be usually under the sternum and radiates to the left hand or sometimes to the right hand to the jaws or to the back or to the abdomen this radiation is very important because people will mistake it to a different problem suppose if it radiates to the jaws people may attribute it to a dental problem or if it radiates to the shoulders people may attribute it to neck or cervical spondylitis and sometimes if the patient experiences the radiation to the abdomen most often they think that it is due to gastric problem so therefore having the awareness of this symptom is very important this symptom is different from other diseases because it is usually exertional when the person is doing some activity he will experience this kind of discomfort and as he stops doing that activity there will be a relief of the symptom and it may be associated with other symptoms like profuse sweating shortness of breath giddiness or sometimes a feeling of passing out or syncope so these are the main symptoms and usually it lasts about 5 to 10 minutes and then gradually it will subside so this is the very fundamental attribute of a cardiovascular or the coronary disease symptom and the causes as i mentioned are because of deposition of cholesterol inside the blood vessel of the heart and that leads to obstruction it is brought about by long standing risk factors like diabetes hypertension or high cholesterol or some habits like smoking alcohol or sometimes there may be a disposition for this kind of problem genetically or people who are sedentary who don't do exercise and who suddenly start doing some abnormal physical activity those people will experience these things so identifying these causes is very important because if you identify these causes early on in life and if you try to control those risk factors or the causes you can prevent the progression of these blockages and then you can prevent a major event happening in the patient's life and there are many treatment options available fundamentally there are three options one is medical treatment the second one is a interventional treatment or doing a balloon angioplasty and a stent inside the artery to clear the blockage and the third one is a bypass surgery so if you are having these symptoms there will be some diagnostic tests that are conducted commonly we do ecg echocardiogram or ct coronary angiogram and coronary angiogram and sometimes the other kind of stress tests are done either it may be ecg uh, stress test or sometimes a nuclear stress test but by and large the angiograms stand to be the gold standard for diagnosis of this particular disease because they will give us the idea of extent of blockage the kind of anatomy of the blood vessel and what therapeutic decisions we can make based on the angiogram is very important and coming back to the treatment options the patients usually are given antithrombotics or the antiplatelet drugs to prevent the blood clot aspirin clopidogrel or other drugs like a tricoagulor are given to these patients and secondly to reduce the cholesterol accumulation we have to give them what are called statins 
and nowadays there are some new injectable drugs are also available which can be given two times in a month or there is another injection that can be given two times per year these are very effective new molecules though they are expensive currently but i think in course of time these injectables price will become less and it will be available for many people and interventional treatment is by far the most popular and effective therapy as of now and we take the patient to a cath lab do an angiogram to identify the blockage and then through the radial artery or to the ulnar artery or through the leg artery that is the femoral artery we pass a stent to the blocked area and then deploy the stent so that the patient is relieved of the obstruction this is by far the best modality of treatment available which does not involve any surgery it is a simple procedure and the patient can be in hospital for 2 days subsequently he can go home take rest for one week or so and then resume all his normal activities after this and when the stenting is not possible if there is a multiple blocks etc there bypass surgery is one option for those patients but currently more and more patients are benefited with the stents all over the world so these three treatment options are effective and they are also known to give good quality of life to the patients and in some cases they are also known to prolong the life of the patient so identify the disease and then get a proper treatment with the supervision of expert cardiologists always is beneficial to these patients thank you very much like comment and subscribe for more health updates